Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the series where we're in superstar mode playing through the Detroit Red Wings 2023-24 season. Through the first two games, the Red Wings have been outmatched by both the Devils and the Lightning. Larkin and Johnson. Two Michigan boys on the opening faceoff. This one is won by Johnson. Detroit gains possession in their own end. Perron, Perron up to Larkin. Gains the line across. Gastus Bears shot. That hits a Wings player and comes out. The first shot of the game by the Red Wings. Gastus Bear. And that stop by Merzalinkis. And he'll hang on. Boudreau and Larkin each with a goal and an assist on the season. Both lead the respective clubs. Johnson, 2-0 on faceoffs tonight versus Larkin. Wings will recover in the neutral zone. Across to Larkin, does not connect. Sider now with a shot, he misses wide. Lewinsky. We're getting control. Goudreau, he's checked hard by Larkin. Turning the puck over, but the Blue Jackets will be able to recover and start it out line A. Into Johnson. Hehe, <laughs> nice poke check there by Gastis Bear as the wings were able to regain control and start. Larkin, they created a quick little odd man rush in tight. They're unable to create an opportunity off of it as the wings look for their first change. Big shot, a one-timer from the high slot. Tekshera now with a shot. That save, Roslovic with another opportunity and Huso will hang on. Dylan Larkin with a couple of hits to start this game is now up in to a tie for the league lead with 11. Another face-off win by the Blue Jackets. Unable to do anything with it. There's a slash and a penalty coming. So Detroit will head to the power play as Ivan Pronovanov is caught with a slash as Raymond was breaking out of the Detroit zone. So Provorov, two, you see the slash right there as Raymond was heading one-on-one -on -one the other direction. Detroit did score a power play goal versus Tampa Bay. Com for Sprong and Fabry. But another faceoff, another faceoff won by Columbus and Jenner. Will flip it out, sending Detroit back to regroup. Ooh, Cop takes a hit. Nice forecheck. The wings now. Fabry in across the line with a shot that's sticked aside. And Columbus will clear it out to the center ice. Jenner on a second attempt will get it deep into the wing zone. Sider will pick it up. Lead pass to Cop. Cop takes a nice check and is able to get it in deep. Columbus first on it. Jostling for possession here on the near side boards. Columbus will come up with it and start back the other way. One minute remaining in the Provorov penalty. Fabric. Up the wing, out to Sprong, who takes a shot. That won't get through. Bean will clear it. There's a chance for a break here. Curle, he gets a shot. And that's kicked aside with the right pad by Huso. Detroit, time for one more. Rush up ice. Cop. He loses possession, regains control of the slot. We'll get a shot away. Merzalinkis flashes the glove. We'll hang on. 9.07 to play in this first period. Detroit with just a couple seconds remaining on the power play. No score here in Columbus. Another face-off win for the Blue Jackets. They gain control but cannot get it out. Dabrinkit kick. This could be trouble here. Right of the box is Provorov. Kastisbear able to cut him off, but it's still Sillinger. Roslovic scores. They're calling it no goal. A dangerous play. 
But you're going to see Sillinger run into Huso, and they're going to call that for goalie interference. But the puck came free in the Columbus zone, out to center, right as Provorov was coming out of the box. He was able to gain possession. The Wings cut him off, but the Blue Jackets were able to create a 2-on-0 from the blue line, but resulted in a goaltender interference negating what would have been a Blue Jackets goal to brink it now. He gets a shot off and this one goes in. To brink its first goal as a member of the Detroit Red Wings and it seemed like it was going to be a harmless play. Detroit across the line just a little wrist shot. Merzalinkas could see it the entire way but just misplayed it. That finds its way underneath the right arm and barely into the back of the net. So Detroit on goals from Debrinket, assisted by Perron and Larkin, have now gained their first lead of the season and they're right back into the Blue Jacket zone with pressure. Gostas bared a cider shot and he scores! Two nothing, cider's first of the year. So the Red Wings have fallen behind in both of their first two games on the season. They strike twice here, and you saw from that angle, Merzalinkas thought Sider was going to go to the blocker side. He started making a move back to the right. Larkin, I'm sorry, Sider rather. Shot it towards the glove size. Merzalink is a little off balance. Cannot corral it. Gostas Bear and Larkin will assist on Siders first as the Red Wings have a two goal advantage with five minutes to play in the first. And they're back in again. Larkin with a shot. That doesn't get through. The Blue Jackets need to settle this puck down. Oh, there's another penalty coming. Just as the Blue Jackets gain the line, this is their second offensive zone face or offensive zone penalty of this first period. And it's a slash again by Texier this time. Blue Jackets, you never like to see an offensive zone penalty. They have two of them. And this one at a really bad time as they've just fallen down by two to Detroit. Well, when the draw, Fabry with a quick shot. That stopped. Oh, Fabry tried to pass across a Beamstrom. will intercept and get it out. Marinsky now behind the Blue Jackets goal. He'll start this out. Bernstrom at center. Gets it over to Oliver. He tried. What a nice opportunity, shorthanded. Gostas Bear with speed. He's in alone. The shot and a save by Merzalinkas on the breakaway. Sprong with another chance. Merzalinkas equal to that one. You saw the speed of Gostas Bear through the neutral zone, able to pick up the puck, split the D, and he was in alone from the blue line, but unable to get the puck past Merzalinkas. Blue Jackets leading in faceoffs today and they get another win and get this puck out. Gostas Bear again through center to Comfer. He tries to make a move one on one. Alone, out in front, Fabry was alone, got a quick little redirection shot. That was stopped, Perron, and the wings will come back now, Sprung. Gains the Blue Jackets line. His pass intercepted. And Peak is away with it. He's going to move into the slot area and get a shot. That does not make it through to Vili Husso. And the wing's able to gain control. Comfer over to Sprong with a shot. That hits Merzalinkas square in the numbers, right in the Blue Jackets logo. And he will hang on for another faceoff in the Blue Jacket zone. We've seen quite a few big hits tonight in this Eastern Conference matchup. Comfer, he's moving his way up the hit charts. 
to join his teammate Dylan Larkin, who now has the most hits in the league so far this season. 10 seconds on the power play. Oh, there's a penalty coming to Detroit, a trip, as the Blue Jackets were starting to come out. So the wings, Alex Debrinkit, who has the first goal of tonight's game. He gets his stick out, trips up the Blue Jackets player just as they were coming out of their own end. And Columbus will head to the power play in two seconds here once Texier comes out of the box. <laughs> Face-off win. Wierenski with a shot. Huso saves it. There's another attempt. Severin and Huso with another stop. There's a turnover right in front of the net. And he scores. Kent Johnson, I believe. Goudreau battling down low. Wins the puck battle in front of the Detroit net. Gets it out to Kent Johnson. There's the turnover forced right there by Goudreau, goes with a nice little pass between his legs. And Johnson, with a, Huso had sprawled and was out of position. We now have a two to one hockey game as the Blue Jackets score early in their power play attempt. Goudreau will pick up the assist on Johnson's first of the season. Warinsky. Tries to make a pass across to brink it, takes it, and starts in. Out front to Larkin, there's a shot. That goes wide. Perron with one more chance. Merzalinkis will make the save. And we're gonna have a face off with just .6 seconds remaining in the first period. Detroit has looked better tonight than we've seen them. So far this season, they really seem to pick up where they left off in that third period of Tampa. But a bad penalty by Alex Debrinkit, and then a costly forced turnover by Jake Wallman has gotten the Blue Jackets back into this game. One Detroit did outshoot Columbus 12 to eight in that first period. They out hit them 10 to seven. The time of attack also advantaged Detroit the glaring number that I'm sure they'll talk about in the locker room is the face-offs. Their centers have to be better on the face-off. The Blue Jackets won the end zone face-off on the power play. We're able to gain possession, settle the puck down, and get them right back into this hockey game. Gostas Bears, the Wings win the face-off to start the second. Looking to gain momentum once again to bring it. Tried to center that one. Goudreau with a nice interception. Warinsky now. Get it out. Goudreau. Johnson. Nice pressure by Detroit. Trying to keep the Blue Jackets hemmed into their own end. Out front Johnson. Here's rebound by Goudreau. Husso with the save. And Sider able to get this puck out. To bring it now. Into Perron and he scores. So Detroit, we had some back and forth action. A dangerous attempt by the Blue Jackets. Cider able to get the puck out. They get it up ice. And you see Debrinkit with his second point of the night getting this puck over to Perron. And he gets this past Merzalinkis. So the Red Wings answer that late first period goal by the Blue Jackets. They get one early here in the second and regain their two goal lead. Sider and Debrinkit assist on David Perron's first and Perron's right back into the Blue Jacket zone. Larkin with a shot, that goes off the side of the net. Texier across the wings line, he stood up by Sider. He gets the puck back though, that's kicked away by Huso. Roslovic off the near boards to Provenov. Marchenko with a shot, that goes into the corner. Gostas Bear and Roslovic battle for it. The Blue Jackets will come away. Marchenko working out in front. His shot goes wide. Marchenko again now on the right side circle. Blue Jackets with some pressure. Peron though able to get control. 
get it out to center, but the Blue Jackets recover. Each team jostling for the puck, and we're going to have an offsides, which will allow both teams to change just over 10.30 to play in the second period. Detroit holding on to a two-goal lead. Wallman, Raymond, he'll gain the Blue Jackets line, bumped off the puck by Boquist. Nice job standing Raymond up. Starting his team the other way. Check it off over to Jenner. A big stop by Husso. Now Rasmussen, he gets stood up at center ice. And then Petrie, I believe, repays the favor. The Blue Jackets keep control in the Red Wing zone. Cop coming away with it. Up ice to Sprong. He's got some room. Oh, a big hit. And they're calling something here. They're calling a charge on Severin. I don't know if I agree with this one. Unless there was something else, it looked like a good defensive play. Both men, I think, had every right to that puck sprung. Well, I mean, he might have stuck his arm out and clothesline him there. I didn't see that from the initial angle. Nevertheless, Detroit back on the power play. Cider. His shot doesn't get through. It would be huge here for the Wings if they can get another one and take a three goal lead late in this second period. We're gonna have a face off. To the right of Merzalinkis. Larkin wins it again. Cider over to Raymond. He's gonna get a shot. Merzalinkis with the glove and he will hang on. So Detroit. They talked some strategy in that first intermission about their face-offs and needing to be better. Larkins won two in a row. Can he win a third against Sillinger here? The tie up on the draw, it's a 50-50 puck. The Blue Jackets come away with it. Roslovic's gonna try to get this out. Gets it to the line, but not out. Second attempt. Sillinger and the wings battling. Sider comes up with it. Raymond with a redirection and he scores! It's a 50-50 puck off the faceoff. Neither team really ever gained control. The Blue Jackets got it to the line. Cider able to hold it in. A quick little backhand to Raymond. And he flicks this one under the glove of Merzalinkis, his second of the season. Assisted by Moritz Cider. And the Red Wings now have a three goal lead with under five minutes to play in the second period. The Wings ice the puck. The Blue Jackets will have a chance here now with an offensive zone faceoff to win it, get control, but they cannot. So Detroit has really turned the table on faceoffs in this period. Perron over to Larkin. He takes a shot. That's kicked into the corner. Oh, there's a penalty coming to Detroit. Another offensive zone penalty. Each team is taking what I would call needless penalties in the offensive zone. And this one a trip by Perron with 3.33 to play. He sticks his stick out, no need for that. The Blue Jackets, who scored on their first power play, looking to get their second power play goal and their second Goal of the game. Johnson with the faceoff win. Boquist will move it across to Johnson. That stop by Husso and Hall will clear. So a nice look by the Blue Jackets right off the faceoff. Johnson with a shot. Blocker it into the corner. Mata will tie it up over to Hall and he will flick this one out. There's a race for the puck. The Wings player Bergen will get there first. But a nice defensive play by Marchenko to shoulder him off. And the Blue Jackets now regain the wings line. Marchenko with a shot. Mata blocks that one. He flicks it off the high glass. It just gets out to center. And the Blue Jackets once again will start back up ice. Goudreau now over to Marchenko with a little bit of a move, a shot, and that's kicked away. Boquist now. Line A, he gets a good look along the ice. That's stopped by Husso. 
Kentucky will gain control of the rebound and cover it for a faceoff to his left. 2.09 to play here in the second period. Detroit with a commanding 4 to 1 lead. But Columbus on the power play. Their power play has looked good tonight. They scored on the first one. It's been their best part of the game for them. Another faceoff win. Warinsky. He tried to shoot that on. Comfort blocks it, and the Wings once again get this puck out to center ice. Where Columbus will once again regain control. Tekshe enters the line. Roslovic. He has the Blue Jackets goal. Tekshe over to Warinsky with a shot. That's steered aside by Huso. The Wings cannot clear. Second attempt, though. They will get it out. One last rush up ice on the power play. Roslovic bumped off the puck. The Red Wings will be back to full strength. They kill this penalty off. One minute to play in the second. The Blue Jackets, they'd like to get one late, and they do. Texier gets the shot. Huso can't control the rebound. Texier the first on the puck. His third of the season. He cleans up his own rebound. He just, he shoots this around Petrie and Petrie lets him walk right by. Cider can't pick him up and a backhander. That's a back breaking goal late in the second period. This one gets Columbus back within two. Four to two. There's still time on the clock for either team to make something happen here. Jenner and Warinsky will assist on Alexander Check. Tekshay's third of the season. Cop with one more attempt. The Blue Jackets able to stop that and time will run out in the second period. We're four to two after 40 minutes in Columbus. The shots are now equal 19 apiece. Detroit has still been the more physical out of the two teams. The faceoff wins still in the favor of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Their passing has been crisper. Their attacking zone time is up. But they only have been able to muster two goals against Huso, each time late, both in the first and the second period. Let's see what they can do. They're coming out quick here in the third is Johnson with a shot. Blockered into the corner by Huso and the wings. We'll start away with it. Severson back behind his own net. Larkin with a good forecheck. Gets it out to Dabrinkit. That's stopped easily by Merzalinkis. Columbus now. Johnson on the near side boards. He's trying to move into the center slot. Bumped up the puck in the Red Wings. We'll get this out to center. Larkin with speed. He tried to center it. Intercepted by the back checking Patrick Line and the Blue Jackets able to get this puck out. Gain the Red Wings line, Line A to Johnson, his shot into the corner. Johnson again, out to the line, Warinsky. That shot's blocked. Dabrinkit now will get this puck deep into the Columbus zone as the Wings go for a change. Off the bench, that was a big run by Comfer and he's gonna have to answer for that one. Warinsky is going to step in. The glass is shattered here down low on our side of the ice right in the neutral zone. Warinsky making Comfort answer and then making him pay. I had just mentioned the Red Wings were changing lines. Comfort came from the bench all the way across the ice and laid a massive hit in the neutral zone, shattering the glass. I didn't see who it was on. It didn't look like the Blue Jackets player was any worse for wear, but that was a terrible penalty and a need, an unnecessary play for Comfer. I don't know what he was thinking there, but you can't charge somebody any more than what JT Comfer did there in Columbus now. They've scored once on the power play. They're gonna have another attempt here to get within one. Line A 
Get this over to Goudreau, into Boquist. He's across to line A and they make the Red Wings pay. It's now four to three, Patrick Line gets his third of the season. The second power play goal of the night for Columbus. A nice pass across, a one-timer into the back of the net. It beats Huso to the blocker side. And JT Comfort, a needless penalty. A charge, and his team surrenders a goal shorthanded. Boquist and Goudreau assist on line A's third. Just about eight minutes into this third period and we have ourselves a four to three hockey game. Provorov to Brinkett and Goudreau battling for the puck. Provorov will come away with it. He starts behind his own zone. We're halfway through this third period. Detroit clinging now to a one goal lead. Wallman up to cop through the neutral zone. He turns the puck over and Tekche will start this out for the Blue Jackets. Roslovic gives the puck away to Raymond in the neutral zone. Raymond with a nice move. Fabry with a shot. That stop. Fabry again out of the corner, working into the slot. Cop out to Petrie. His shot gets through, kicked away, and the Blue Jackets come away with it. Roslovic stolen by Fabry. He's not going to be able to catch the Blue Jackets D, who is on a change, but he will get it to Cop. His shot stopped by Mirza Linkitz. He will cover. We'll have another face-off in the Columbus zone. Detroit's top line on the ice, 4.37 to play. 4-3, to three, Detroit leads. 50-50 battle on the face-off. Columbus comes away with it. Tech with a move out front to Bean with a save by Huso. Ooh, Huso had to be sharp on that one. The Columbus Blue Jackets were very close to tying this game. Larkin, he has the puck stolen. Two minutes and counting in the third period. The Wings looking for their first win of the season. A shot stopped by Huso. Perron will circle. So we are under one minute to go in this third period. Cider up to Larkin. Gains the Blue Jackets line, 20 seconds on the clock. That hits the post. A nice shot by Larkin, hits the post. Blue Jackets, their goalie's coming out. A big hit by Gostas Bear, forcing the turnover. Fabry, the Wings trying to get it out. They do, five seconds to go and the Detroit Red Wings are going to get their first win of the season. Four to three over the Columbus Blue Jackets. A tough game, some back and forth action. The Red Wings jumped out early in the first with a two nothing lead. They never surrendered their lead despite their best efforts with a few bad penalties. Columbus battled back but could not get the equalizer. The Blue Jackets will fall to two and one. Detroit getting their first win of the season. They need to work on their face-offs, but they come away with the victory. That's all for action tonight in Columbus. If you like this content, hit the video with a like. Make sure you subscribe and come back here next time where the Detroit Red Wings will head back home to take on the Pittsburgh Penguins. Live from Little Caesars Arena, the Penguins are 3-0, and looking to extend their undefeated start to this season. Captain Dylan Larkin leading the Red Wings with a goal and three helpers through three games this season. I'm Joe. We'll see you next time.